In this video, we're going to look at the basics of framing and composition. We're going to also look at shot terminology and what certain shots mean. Now, we're going to look at some tips and techniques that professional videographers and photographers use. And if you use them when you go out and shoot footage on your smartphone, you're going to breathe new life into your shots and dramatically improve the way they look. To get good images, you'll need to know the basics of framing and composition. These might sound like two very scary words, but I can give you some really quick and easy tips that you can incorporate into your filming. Let's start with a technique that's been around for a hundred years, since the days of the Impressionist painters. It's called the Rule of Thirds, and it's used both in photography and videography. Basically, it's a way of creating better composed images that are more pleasing to the eye. So if you divide the frame up into two vertical lines and two horizontal lines, you will end up with nine boxes. The idea is that if you align your subject or object along the vertical lines, where the lines intersect, you'll end up with a much more dynamic, well-framed shot, which will draw your viewer's eyes to the point of interest. So try incorporating the rule of thirds the next time you go out and do some filming. So now we've talked briefly about the rule of thirds technique, I want to give you a quick rundown on the different types of shots we can capture and what they look like. You need variety to capture a good sequence of shots, so let's have a look at them. The first shot to look at is called a wide shot. The wide shot is when you capture a lot of the scene in front of you. It can contain your subject, but they may be small in the scene. This is great to use as an establishing shot. Now an establishing shot is where you open up a scene or show off the location and the surroundings that you're filming in. The next shot to look at is what is called a mid shot or a medium shot. As you can see we've moved in a little bit closer to focus more on our subject but we can also see a little bit of the background as well. You may notice that we're still using the rule of thirds here to draw our viewers eyes to the point of interest which is the subject. Now the next shot we're going to look at is a close up shot. Now if you're filming your subject face on like this, a close-up shot will usually cover the head and the shoulders, which gives us the real details of your subject and is great for capturing things like emotional shots and where people are interacting with you as you're filming. So by using the rule of thirds technique and using a wide, a mid and a close-up shot, you can really get some variety in the footage that you're capturing. So now you've picked up a few tips on composition and what shots to capture, stick to these basic rules and I can guarantee that you will dramatically improve the look of your video footage on your smartphone. <music>